Democratic gubernatorial candidate Charlie Crist chose President of United Teachers of Dade as his running mate. This video is about the daughter of South American immigrants, a campaign director at the National Domestic Workers Alliance, an organizer at Mejores Unidas Ye Activus in the San Francisco Bay Area. She passed a statewide domestic worker bill of rights into law. She co-founded the National Domestic Workers Alliance. Meet Andrea Mercado, Executive Director of Florida Rising. I want to believe Andrea knows the GOPQ, characterizes Carla Hernandez Matz as a radical left-wing teachers union boss and a slap in the face to Florida families. Since the GOPQ says children under Chris and Matz would be a classroom of children indoctrinated with woke ideology, millions of Floridians would have had their livelihoods ripped away from them. Our police would be defunded and our communities would be far less safe, according to the GOPQ. The GOPQ says Chris and Matz are Biden's ideal ticket and they will do to Florida what Biden is doing to our country. They do not want to keep Florida free, and Floridians will reject their destructive agenda. Helen Aguari Ferre, Executive Director, GOP Florida. Charlie Chris's largest donor is the American Federation of Teachers, which, by the way, contributed $500,000 to his campaign. The GOPQ points out how parents across the country showed up at school board meetings to protest COVID mandates, critical race theory indoctrination, and radical gender ideology being injected into classrooms. A.G. Merrick Garland threatened to send, according to the GOPQ, the FBI to intimidate these parents for the crime of being concerned about their kids' education. The DOJ memo smeared parents as domestic terrorists. Also, according to the GOPQ, Ms. Matz tweeted in response to a news story about parents protesting at a school board meeting, except those aren't parents. In fact, many of them don't even have children. The GOPQ also accuses Matz of promoting CRT training and nodded along approvingly to the claim that systematic racism permeates American society at every level and should be taught to kids. The GOPQ also claims that Matz promotes anti-racist trainings, a tool of CRT ideology for teachers with far left squad member, Congressman Jamal Bowman. The GOPQ says, Matt thinks that putting criminals in prison is equivalent to genocide and Matt supports violent rioting in the state of Florida, advocating against the governor's anti-riot bill, calling the bill racist. The GOPQ claims Carla Hernandez Matt's teachers union lobbied and worked with the Biden administration to cover up and stop collecting sexual assault data from schools. On and on and on the GOPQ claims um, that charters lack accountability and transparency of traditional public schools, yada, yada, yada. They are not subject to the same regulations in hiring certified teachers, yada, yada, yada. I ask again, why didn't Andrea inform Floridians about what Matt's stands for? 
Who hands out invitations to a multicultural rally at the 11th hour? It's no wonder very few people from the community even attended, despite all of the freebies that staff, by the way, enjoyed. What was she like in the newsroom? The three years I was with her, she was pregnant twice, uh, you know, two babies, and then Ron running for governor. I always joked with her and said, I was like, this isn't sustainable. This was the day she said goodbye to her viewers. With the kids at home and everything, um, and the husband, we'll get into it a second, who's running around it, and he's doing some great stuff. Is he? That, yeah, we'll get into that. <laughs> it's clear Casey's TV training shines through in her poise on the national stage. Man, a man of honor, of integrity, of values. He was there to pick me off of the ground when I literally could not stand. The handsome family is even drawing comparisons to JFK and Jackie. Little Mamie is described as the family comedian. Mason, age four, the athlete. And five-year-old Madison, she's the opinionator.